Hey, um, I wanted to record this video to talk a little bit about um, the classical essay arrangement presentation that's available in the Week 7 folder. And the reason I wanted to do this um, is because it's usually pretty eye-opening for a lot of English 102 students to realize that there already is a really well-established system in place for how to structure a long research paper. And so you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. We can kind of build on what's been done literally for thousands of years already. So this really does go back to ancient Greek times. Um, you know, the guys standing in front of the forum and their long flowing togas and stuff. They were persuading people using rhetoric um, and they were doing this before writing even existed so they had to create a system to memorize large chunks of information and present it cleanly to others so now we have the luxury of writing and so but we can still use their same basic format to make sense out of a long persuasive piece so they broke it down into seven pieces sometimes eight and I wanted to talk a little bit about what each of those were you do not have to use this for your own paper by any means. I just wanted to throw it out there as one possibility that might get you started thinking about other ways that might be equally feasible. So in the first section, and these are all sections, so think about this as more than just one single paragraph. Um, their first section is the introduction, and I've included the, the Greek here if you want to impress your friends at cocktail parties. Feel free to throw out these terms. To begin with, um, they encourage you to start with your ethos. In other words, to establish your credibility as an authority on this particular subject. So this might be a place where you might share how you're personally invested in the subject um, or what kind of research you've done, you know, um, because you are now an expert in the field. In other words, you want to establish trust and create some kind of personal relationship with your reader. Um, so the text at the bottom kind of gives ideas for how to do this. Step two is to tell the story, literally, of the case, of the situation. Um, this is where background information comes in, the history of the um, situation. And, you know, depending on your subject, you may go into great detail here or kind of go through it pretty quickly. This is also a good place to define the terms that are important to your argument, you know, things that casual readers may not understand or that you may be using in a specified context. Um, and then step three is the proposition statement. So we're three steps in before we actually get to the thesis of your essay. Um, and I think that's kind of unusual, maybe from other structures you may have seen before, but it works really nicely here, that we've got a sense of what the subject is all about, what the sides are, before we actually declare what our side is in this paper. Um, the optional eighth step is kind of in here, um, where you divisio, where you break it down into smaller components. Um, you'll see that sometimes and not others, so that's just, again, an option. And then the fourth step, immediately after the thesis, is you look at the counter-arguments. You look at the people who disagree with you and your position, and you explain why they think the way they do, and immediately you're countering those um, with reasons why these should be taken with a grain of salt, that sort of thing. So this is a good place to use sources um, that to speak for the other side. And you're pointing out any weaknesses in their reasoning as you go. So I'm going to end this video now and stay tuned for part two where we'll look at the other three steps in more detail.